Hey guys, second machine with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to take a screenshot on your iPhone 13 Pro and then edit that screenshot and be able to save it to different applications like your photos and your files. Additionally, later in the video, we're gonna show you guys how to level up your screenshotting game by simply doing something known as back tap and being able to use that as well. So first thing first is how do you take a screenshot on the iPhone 13 Pro or any other 13 lineup? This method will work with pretty much iPhone 10 or above because this method has changed from the older generation of the phone. It's gonna be using two buttons. Because you don't have the home button anymore, you're gonna to want to use this big side button on the right hand side, and then on the left hand side, you're gonna use the volume up button, which is gonna be that middle button right there. So once you are ready to do that, you're gonna simply press these two buttons at the same time. As you can see, simultaneously pressing them will take a screenshot and make that click noise. And now you're able to get the screenshot, click on it to open it up. If you don't click on it, it's just gonna save to your photos. Now what you can do is simply edit this by simply cropping it or using your favorite tool here to mark it up or whatever you need to. Maybe you need to circle something or highlight something, all of that and much more you can do whatever you need to. You can add shapes and all of that and much more to it and then go ahead and save it by hitting that done button and then it's gonna ask you to either save it to photos or your files app. So we're gonna save it to photos and then open up our photos app and this time you'll notice this has been saved right now into the photos app and we can go ahead and share it, do whatever we need to, send it, airdrop it, all of that, email it, we can do all of that. The next method we mentioned, it's gonna be pretty neat because there's a feature known as Backtap that was released with IO, IO, the latest version of the iOS you can get, which is on 15 here, but this actually was possible on iOS 14 as well. So the th way to do that is you're gonna go into settings, and once you go into settings, you're gonna go ahead and find accessibility, and then go to touch here. Once you go to touch, you're gonna scroll all the way down, and you're gonna notice this feature known as Backtap, which allows you to either double or triple Backtap on your phone to automatically activate a feature of the iPhone. So here, if we go to Backtap, currently it's select on none, we select on that, and then you get all of these system commands that you can make the phone do by simply double tapping on the back of the phone. So let's say we want to take a screenshot here, and now make sure, go back, check that it says screenshot and now we'll show you by opening up let's say a application the safari application we're going to do a screenshot this time and we double back tap i'm going to make sure the taps are recognizable and once we have that tap as you can see you can open it up again do whatever we need to adjust it edit it mark it up all of that and then once we're ready to save we can hit that done button or you can simply share it as well if you don't want to share it from the photos or the file app you can simply airdrop it message email messenger zoom whatever apps you have downloaded that are able to take that image and do whatever it needs to you can so this time we're going to hit done and save it to files and then on our phone here or our iDrive whatever iCloud drive whatever you want you can hit the save button and to just show you guys now if we open up files app this time we're gonna see we did a screenshot here and it's saved right here again we can share it over here again send it do whatever we need to so that's gonna be the two different methods of taking a screenshot on your iPhone 13 Pro or any of the newer iPhones that you have so if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time